Hi everybody, Graham here, bringing you your assembly. Okay, well, last Thursday we had an open evening for our uh, next year sevens, and it was a fantastic evening. And there was an overwhelming sense of community and belonging. And first of all, parents needed to know that we care. And uh, I want to talk about the part of our Be Christ strategy, which is be supportive. And, you know, that's the bit that needed to shine, because if they were going to send their little darlings to us for potentially the next seven years and for such an important thing as their education, then they needed to know that we cared. But also there's all these wide eyed 10 year olds wondering, you know, Am I going to be all right here? Are they going to be nice to me? Uh, will I uh, will I survive <laughs> these seven years? So they needed to know that we are a caring, supportive community. Now Jesus actually he left uh, he left us with one thing that we needed to do, and that was to be followers, to do what he did. And um, a big part of that was to care for people, to be supportive. And hopefully, while we're all here, while, while you're a student going through this, you will pick up and learn and, uh, and live by the ph philosophy of be Christ. And a big part of that is to be supportive. So it's, it's not all about religion, but it is about an incredible uh, philosophy. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a story which is from um, an ancient Hebrew text, which is 3000 years old. But it's an amazing story about King David, who followed on from King Saul, who had died. And um, King David was a faithful man. He was an upright man. He was a very, very good man. And it goes like this. I'm going to read this to you. David asked, is there anyone still left of the house of King Saul to whom I can show kindness to? Now, there was a servant of Saul's household named Ziba. They summoned him to appear before David and the king said to him, are you Ziba? At your service, he replied. The king asked, is there no one still alive from the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king, there is still a grandson. He is disabled in both feet. Where is he? The king asked. Ziba answered, he is at a house in Lodibar. So King David had him brought from Lodibar, from the house where he was living. When Methibish, sorry, this is a great name, Methibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honour. David said, Methibosheth, at your service, he replied. Don't be afraid, David said to him, for I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul, and you will always eat at my table. That was a great honour, that was. Mephibosheth bowed down and said, What is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like me? Do you know what? When people are down on their luck, uh, when life has dealt them a bad hand, uh, when people have messed up, when other people have been bad, when people are struggling, they have incredible low self-esteem. It's, it's quite common. And, and here you see exactly the same thing. This is a disabled guy and he feels rubbish. He describes himself as a dead dog. Now, in Hebrew times, dogs were unclean. Ew, they, they really didn't like them. And he describes himself as a dead dog. <laughs> it's even worse. And the king summoned Ziba. He ignored this. He, he totally ignores how Mephibosheth has described himself. And the, the king summoned Ziba, Saul's steward, and said to him, 
I've given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul, his family. You and your sons and your servants are to farm the land for him and bring in the crops so that your master's grandson may be provided for. And Mephibosheth, grandson of your master, will always eat at my table. Now, Zeba had 15 sons and 20 servants. <laughs> Things were going quite well for him. Then Zeba said to the king, I will do whatever my lord the king commands me to do. So the young man, um, so uh, Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth ate at David's table like one of the king's sons. Mephibosheth, oh, Mephibosheth had a young son named Micah. Oh, Micah. And all the members of Zeba's household were servants of Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth lived in Jerusalem because he always ate at the king's table. He was disabled in both feet. They can emphasize that he was disabled. And David helped him. Let's be followers. Let, let us be followers of the Be Christ strategy. They're wonderful life skills. And not just when we leave here or not just for here, but from now and for always. Let's be supportive. And it's not for self-gain. David never gained anything from this. Uh, but it's because often those around us need support. Let's have compassion because people are important. I'm going to finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to be supportive. Give us some, some compassion and uh, just bless us this week, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.